Welcome to another episode of the Tech Wizard series. My name is Luis Camacho, and I'm a lead field engineer with Panasonic. We're going to cover how to program buttons A1 through A4 on the Toughbook 55. Please note that the factory image that ships with the Toughbook 55 already has the buttons A1 through A4 pre-programmed. For example, if you hold the function key down and press 4, you can see the light on the keyboard change colors. There are two ways to reprogram the buttons. The first way is through the PC settings utility and requires manual configuration on each computer. And there are two ways to enter into the PC settings utility. One way is to click start, scroll down to the P's, and press Panasonic settings utility. The other way is using the already programmed buttons, function one. And then navigate to the settings tab and then click on change. Here is where all your changes will take place. You see your function one, two, three, four, all corresponding to the keys A1, A2, A3, and A4. So today we're gonna program the A1 key function plus one. And as you can see right now, it's currently configured, as we just demonstrated, to open up the PC settings utility. We're going to change that. So you click the change button. And from the drop down action over here, you can choose from several options. We're going to choose to start a program. And in the program location, we're going to specify the location to start that program. As a shortcut, I've already saved it. And as you can see, we're gonna open up Notepad. Click OK. And the change is taking place there. And now we click Apply. And it's unnecessary to click OK at this point, but I will. And if you can see, function one now opens up Notepad. That is one way to program the A1 key. The other way to program the buttons is through the registry. And this method is preferable when you're configuring multiple computers. For example, you can make the change on a new image and then deploy it with these settings already configured. Here's how we do it. Click search, type reg edit, click enter. If prompted, click yes. Now navigate to H key current user, to software, to Panasonic, to hotkey, button, and key. And we can see four folders here corresponding to the four buttons you can program. You have zero, which corresponds with A1, one, which corresponds with A2, two, which corresponds with A3, and three corresponds with A4. We are going to reprogram zero, which previously we programmed to be Notepad. Now we'll program it to be MS Paint. So double click on zero and action, which is already one, should be confirmed to be one. It is. And now we go to target and we specify the application we intend to run. I have already copied it for the sake of time. So now I'm pasting it, MS Paint EXE. I click OK. Once that is done, this has taken effect. Watch. And now MS Paint has opened up instead of Word. Finally, you can take these newly changed registry keys and export them for deployment services. So how do you do that? Navigate to your desired branch. In this case, we're going to just right-click hotkey. We're going to export wherever you want to. For the sake of this episode, we are going to save it in desktop and name it whatever you want to. Buttons. And it's saved as buttons. If you were to right-click and click edit, and you can see all the new registry changes, including the change we just made, which was MS Paint to button A1. 
With this exported file, now you can import it on whatever units you desire, whether through deployment services or manually one by one. Thank you for joining this episode of the Tech Wizard series. If you have any questions, you can contact Panasonic Support at 1-800-LAPTOP-5 or email us at toughbook at us.panasonic.com.